In this quick video I'll show you how easy it is to create a system and how you can use it. Let's imagine you have a job to go rekey eight doors. Eight, it's supposed to be eight offices uh, for a small business that's moved into your area. Uh, so let's go ahead and start the system by clicking the new button up here. And it's a Schleg system so we'll come down on, on here and choose Schleg for the lock list. We'll tab down and enter uh, a job description for it. Then we'll come over here and enter a master key. Let's go with 63421. And you'll notice I have a a check button over here to check it to make sure that it doesn't uh, fall outside of the range of your pins or that it doesn't violate the max of your system. So we'll check it and sure enough it's okay. So we'll go ahead and move on. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the system. So I'll s click the save button and you'll notice that for the file name it's entered the uh, same name we entered for the job description. Uh, so I'll go ahead and click Save. And then here it's asking if I want to import it. We can get into that more later. Okay, so now we've done that. We've created our system. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. We'll go ahead and click the A button. And this is going to be the A group. In these type of systems, what you're going to have, the most you're going to have is four groups with four other groups, inside four other groups. It could be broke down more than that. But you're going to have four basic groups and you're going to have four uh, groups and they're going to be A, B, C, and D. We just need a few keys for our doing the office so we're going to go ahead and show you how you could pick that out and do it really quick. Uh, first thing is we don't really need that many keys and we want to change the display up a little bit so that we can just use something in the field to go ahead and do this job. So I'm going to come up here and change the view to stack pinning. If yours isn't already to stacked, if you're doing this along with me, you could go ahead and change that. But now we're looking at the system that has the bottom pins, master pins. It's easier to read maybe than that other one if you're working on something. So since we only need a few keys, uh, right now I still have all these A, B, C, D groups. So I'll close this out and, and choose this drop down menu and choose just A, A to get the and narrow the group down a little bit more. So now we just have the AA group. Okay, so now we have basically 38 keys you can see down here, and here's the master key we use to do the job. So now I've whittled what down, this down to 38 change keys, and, and we're going out to do a job to rekey eight locks. So if we had like 16 change keys, we're probably going to be good enough. So I could come right here if I wanted to. If I wanted to print all this out, I could do that just as well. But I could come right down to here, hold down the shift button, uh, highlight all that and delete it. And now I have a, a smaller report. Let's go ahead and take that out of there too. A smaller report that I can just go ahead and print this out and take it out on a job with me. And then when I find out what they want to label these rooms, I can key up the locks and pencil in what I... Uh, what they want right there for a description. If they need a master key, that's why I threw this in here. Because this master key here, if you want to cut it, you don't need to, but if you do cut it, it's going to open up all of these up here. So if they happen to ask for a, a submaster while you're there, you, you've got that. But now you just go ahead and print this out and you take it with you. And uh, you're good to go. When you go ahead and close this now, you'll notice it's asking if you want to save your changes because you've made some changes to this. So let's go ahead and cancel, and I'll show you a quick way. You know, in this case, we're probably not going to want to save it because we're just using this for scratch paper to take out with us to do the job. Uh, if you did want to save this, though, uh, I've got a little pinup bar down here at the bottom. If you notice, I'll click on this and click Save 1. And now that saved it right there. So I can close that window now, and uh, when I want to open it up again, I can just click that, and it'll bring up this same report. And it, actually, if I wanted to write an office a name or something like that there, I could do that. Go ahead and click Save, and it'll be, it'll be saved right down here for me. I can delete it if I want or oops, save it like that. So uh, that's a good way to, to do your systems if you just want to do a small system and take it out on the road. That's all I have for this video, so thanks for watching.